Okay, so this next one can be done in bridge on the floor with your head and shoulders on the ball or even on a bench. Whatever variation you're assigned or you want to do, you want to change it up. This is just a, a little variation for the chest and the shoulders. And of course, once you add the bridge, you're bringing your whole core into the mix as well. So I'm going to show it on the floor first. So you're going to grab your dumbbells. This is a scoop and low fly, I think is what I'm calling it. Let me look at my chest flying scoop. Reverse it. Okay. So, hold up. You're on your back and you're in bridge. Okay? So obviously you know what a fly is. When you're in bridge, obviously knees parallel. Sorry about that. You're going to fly the arms open and close. Then you're going to bring the arms down to your sides with your palms up. And you're going to do a scoop, just as you would do standing up. From there, turn the palms, fly, turn the palms, scoop. Fly. Scoop. All right, so if I were to do it, I'm just going to kneel so that I don't disappear out of the camera. It's going to be fly, scoop. Very simple, again, in theory, but actually tough to put into practice because you really have to work on stabilizing so you're not throwing your shoulders out of whack as you're doing those movements. It's really to isolate the pectoral muscles. You're actually definitely getting a lot of front deltoid as well as you would with any chest exercise. Um, but again, regardless of what surface you're on, whether it's a stable floor, a stable bench, or an unstable ball, or even with the shoulders on the BOSU, um, make sure that you're stabilizing with your core and you're keeping everything moving nice and slow and that you're breathing. Thanks.